Rick from RC Kinsman Studio. Welcome to another Watercolor Wednesday. And today is going to be a little bit different. I have been asked to show you how to make the gold watercolor that I make. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so this is what I use. I use Smink, and I'm sure I'm not saying that right, Pigment. It's Tricolor Bronze Brown Dry Gouache. And it's just it's just a dry pigment. I found it on a couple websites. I will link below. They used to have a couple other colors. This is the pale gold. That's the one I used. And then they have a silver. They have a bronze. And they used to have when I got this, they had a couple other gold colors. But on Dick Blick, they didn't have but the three. They had the rich, the rich pale gold, the silver, and the bronze. <clears throat> so you're going to need one of those, a container to put it in. These are little um, bead containers is what I used that I got at a local discount um, chain store. Some gum Arabic, and I put mine in a little dropper. Paper plate, and palette knife. I like the small metal ones. So what I did is I took some of my powder, put it in the cap, and I pour it into the container, the paper plate. And then I'm going to take my gum Arabic, and I'm going to drop about 10 or so drops of the gum Arabic into there. And you could use a baby dropper or anything like that. I just I thought that was that was really easy for me. And then I'm just gonna mix it around. I might have to add more, which I sure I have sure I am sure I will. But the reason you use gum Arabic is because that is the binder medium in watercolors. Each paint is used, there's a different medium or oil that is used to create it. So I could make this, if I use linseed oil or um, sunflower oil, and there's another one that I could turn this into oil paint. This is the process that I went through to make my watercolor. And they also sell other pigments. I did find on Blick that they had <clears throat> other colors in the same brand, same um, company. Just dry pigment. And I'm sure there's other pigments out there that you can just make your own watercolors also. And all I'm doing is just, I'm milling it around until I get it nice and smooth. And then I take it and I load it into my container. And I just kind of smooth it out. I just do little batches at a time and then I would let this air dry and then it's ready to go. It's actually ready to go now. I could add water to a little bit of that and we can go. I like to let it dry because I like a pan form. So I just let it dry and then I go from there. And then to show you, there's the silver. I made some silver when I made the gold. I don't know if you can see that really well. But that's how I made my own watercolors. Hope you give that a try. And I'm not getting any kind of kickback from Dick Blick for su suggesting them. That's just the place where I found it. I want to say I might have found it one other place when I originally looked. But it seems like Dick's had the best price. 
But I hope you give that a try and make your own metallic watercolors and have fun playing with them. And I will link everything below on where you can find those. Y'all have a good week. Bye.